Hello, my name's Don Green. I'm in the office of the Napoleon Hill Foundation. This is a room we have our archives in. And today I've been asked to talk about a subject called persistence. Hill defined it as the eighth step to riches. And I have some audios of Hill, and he's asking the audience, um, how many times do you think that on average that the person stops before on something that they want to get done? And the audience would holler two, three, four different numbers. He said, no, I asked you the average. He said, the average is less than one. So many people have ideas, they never act on them. So persistence is uh, very important. I recently read a book, a biography of Steve Jobs, and in that interview, he said the quality that he put the most into was persistence. One, he had an idea that he thought would work. He ran into obstacles, but he kept on. And most people, what do, what do they do? They quit. We published a book actually 10 years ago. It was called Three Feet from Gold. And I got the idea of it out of the story about R.U. Darby, about this uh, gold miner, and he hit gold. And it, all of a sudden, it ran out. And um, after a little while, not been able to find it, he quit. And he sold the equipment to a junk man who discovered the seam missing only three feet away from where he had quit digging, and he made millions of dollars out of it. R.U. Darby was later to uh, go back home, back to Merlin, and he was in the uh, insurance business, and this is when he told Hill the story. At, uh, in 1933, he was sponsoring Napoleon Hill in uh, a seminar. We have uh, half-page newspaper ads where he uh, put on seminars. He called them the magic magic key or magic ladder. And, uh, but he said in that, he didn't feel so bad about it because he learned from that lesson never to quit when he's trying to sell an insurance policy, never accept no for an answer. So Hill wrote about that story in his classic Think and Grow Rich. Uh, and that's just a story of, uh, that's a story of uh, being, uh, being persistent in what, you're, in what you're doing. The author of, uh, wrote the book about Steve Jobs I mentioned a while ago. Uh, he wrote a book on uh, Einstein, Ben Franklin, and he wrote the book on Steve Jobs. I've read all of them, and, uh, and it was people he would refer to as geniuses. And matter of fact is, he said before he ever wrote the book on Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs called him and said, you've been writing these books on geniuses, don't you think you wrote time it's wrote about me? And he said he just passed it off and he wasn't really that old. But shortly after, he found out that Steve Jobs had a, a cancer and was not in good health and shape. And so he called Steve Jobs back and offered to do the, do the interview. And that's when he discovered uh, persistence. And the, uh, it could be said about Steve Jobs, four words could describe him uh, simply a story of perseverance. Um, it's a it's a it's a wonderful book. I'm not just promoting it, but uh, I enjoyed the lesson that was in the with it within the in the book. Uh, he 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 said in the eight steps to riches, his persistence of being one one of them. He said, no no doubt, uh, when he uh, wrote the book, he knew what he was talking about from studying all these successful people. He he described it as a uh, sustained effort necessary to induce faith. And that simply meant a belief that you not stop what you're doing and you pursue it, or what it took to, to, to get it. He said it was just a necessary, uh, he's a necessary step in accumulation of wealth. And, uh, and he said it could all be referred to as a power of will. It's a famous book, uh, Power of Will, that uh, I have the personal copy of W. Clement Stone, who was our chairman, who was, I think, a billionaire, give away $450 million the time he died. And that book was written by Franklin uh, uh, Chaddick, Haddock Channing, <laughs> and it was published by the same company, Rawson Society, that published Think and Grow Rich. And Mr. Stone's copy, he's practically underlined every bit, and of course, Power of Will, which is uh, pers Perseverance. The, the man's name was Frank Channing Haddock was his last name, if I reversed his name. Um, he said, successful people, it's well known, if you study them, they, can, they combine desire with willpower, or in other words, persistence.
And this was a characteristic he found that not only belonged uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, uh, a lot of people, but successful people he studied, like Henry Ford, Andrew Carnegie, John D. Rockefeller, and Thomas Edison. All of them had those qualities. And he said he, re he related lack of persistence as being one of the major causes of failures in people's life. They simply lacked persistence. They were always looking for something else, but never falling through on an, on, a, on an idea. He said, you can't expect to achieve anything noted worthwhile without obtaining persistence at some point in your life if you're going to be successful. And he said, we, we can uh, develop persistence by first starting off with having a definite purpose backed by a burning desire to, to succeed. And without those, most people will quit on the slightest obstacle that comes up in front of them.